live, I think. Yay, we are live again. Happy Thursday, everybody. Jenny Lyon here. So today we're tuning in with one of my clients. And if you have been following the event, Activate Your Higher Power, over the last week, and actually a little bit this week as well, you know that we've been sharing a lot of masterclasses, a lot of teachings, a lot of energetic upgrades, a lot about energy and marketing and business and bringing our soul mission online and monetize it and shine into the world, literally. So you know that's what I'm all about now if you follow the event. So uh, for those who are watching first time, I'm Jenny Lyon. I'm the owner of this group. I am uh, a light activator, if you like. Uh, I help women visionaries become impactful leaders through deep inner work and light body activations and business energetics so that you can shine your light into the world and, and monetize it and have an, an amazing life and have amazing impact as you're stepping into your soul mission. So today I wanted to talk to my client, Monique, who is one of my amazing clients and they're all amazing by the way but she has just kind of catapulted herself <laughs> into the stratosphere since we started working together so I'm going to bring her on and we're going to have a chat um and just a relaxed conversation about what's what she's been up to before we started working and how she is now so let's do this <laughs> here she comes <laughs> hi darling hi, everyone hi Hello. so welcome to streaming and um, why don't you just introduce yourself and you know say who you are and where you are and, and those things okay mm -hmm. i'm monique parish marlowe and i am in venice florida usa and i've been working with jenny now for um for a few months i was in the connected soul club and then we started one-on-ones about six weeks ago yeah so Tell, tell me, tell a bit about your background, actually, <laughs> okay. where you came from as well. <laughs> so I was in corporate consulting um, for many, many years, and I left the corporate world um, March of 2020 after a series of health events, um, very, very sick. And basically, now what I know is that my intuition and my higher self had been talking to me, but I'm very stubborn and I don't like to listen. Um, so I, I had to be, um, you know, had to go through, through some things to be able to, um, step into who I really am and what I'm supposed to be doing. So I left the corporate world and I knew that I was supposed to be doing healing in some capacity. I'd been told that many, many years ago. Um, so I, I went on a, a path of discovery, um, took Reiki master class, um, took some other personal development classes, shamanic classes, and I've started a business and it's called Becoming Whole. And it focuses on subconscious therapy and, um, and really inner child work and shadow work. And I'm loving what I'm doing. And Jenny is still working with me uh, to, to help me really fully launch um, and, and get my offering together. But mainly we've been working on, on unlocking my spiritual talents and my spiritual gifts through light body work and coaching. Yeah, no, it's been really amazing. So what I think is important to say here uh, and I think you would agree. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but you just knew, like you were following your soul. Oh, you just knew. You just knew you had. You weren't. You were not clear on what we were going to do. You were just <laughs> like, okay, but you just knew. Yes. So Jenny, Jenny just came into my orbit on Facebook, and and it was like a little a little voice was in my head saying, "You need to work with this woman. She she has something that you need." And, and what I've come to realize, ladies, when you surrender to your path, people will just show up. People will show up that are supposed to be on your path and that are supposed to either give you a message or help you with something. But the problem that I think a lot of us have is really getting in our own way because we don't surrender to it. And we want to like be in masculine energy and control and push and overthink things. Maybe and rationalize, I, you know, make justify things, you know, when oh, actually mm -hmm. you don't yeah. need to justify it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's and it's a matter of, of stepping into um, more of a feeling, more of a feeling and, and a just being into that feminine flow. And when you do that, 
your aura naturally just draws people and situations and opportunities to you. Um, and through the work with Jenny, this is amazing, ladies, I'm going to tell you this. Um, you know, I've been posting for my Becoming Whole group for, for a while, and a man that I used to work with in the past approached me, and he said, you're so different now. What's what's happened to you? I was like, well, you know, I've gone through a spiritual awakening. I'm I'm going into more of my soul work. And he said, well, coincidentally, I have an opportunity, a business opportunity for you, which is actually in the healing space um, using new Tesla technology. So I am going into another business. And it's only because of the work that I've done with Jenny, where she's unlocked this part of me that had been inside of me for so long, um, just really wanting to come out, but I didn't know how because of all the programming um, that this world puts upon us. And for me, being in the corporate world for almost 25 years, I mean, if you ladies have been in corporate, you know what it's like. There's no individuality. You are, um, you're just part of the, the system. So it's been instrumental working with Jenny and, and having her guidance and her mentorship and helping. And really Jenny is a mirror to me because I can see my light because she's shining it up to me. So it's, it's been amazing. Nice. Uh, thank you so much for that. I mean, I'm so happy for you. And also it was a big thing. So Monique also did the multi-dimensional multi-dimensional channeling course, which is, not not necessarily a, a part of the one-on-one -on -one. it's like a it's a three-day course so that was big wasn't it for you as well it was huge um and because it again I get in my own way I never I, I kept getting these hunches and and a gut feeling that something was trying to talk to me and when I went through the course with Jenny and we did the breakout rooms with with the other students and the other ladies something unlocked in me and now i constantly have a have a channel open <laughs> and it's it's just been it's been amazing and i just i trust it so much now um you know before i would have to overthink everything and be in my left brain and analyze and now i just have this this gift that's been unlocked to me and I feel that we all have that gift it's just a matter of getting out of our own way um, and and that was an amazing amazing program that that Jenny hosted those three days were intense um, but we all got out we got a lot out of it and I believe that it really unlocked me and these opportunities are coming my way as a result of doing the channeling course as well yeah you surrendered into your path haven't you really and there's just, no other way <laughs> yeah and then we had this conversation as well um myself and monique about because there is obviously a part of the left brain that goes well well what uh, you know what are we doing next what's going to happen what how is it going to evolve when will i know about this like do you know what i mean those things so you've had to kind of surrender into that as well haven't you where oh, you've just absolutely. gone you know what i'm just going to have to let it come and when it comes i'll take it down and it's like i'm acting on it it's a new way isn't it of not planning like you are planning i suppose in the in the sense that you're planning for your future but you're not exactly seeing all the pieces yet have you no and and i i no longer have the anxiety ladies that i used to have i would i would just overanalyze everything and feel like i had to know everything right here right now what am i doing what's next what's step one step two step three now i can just relax and know that the guidance is going to come to me because yeah. there's the spiritual world that we are not really accustomed to even accepting into our lives now and i really feel that that's changing and the work that that jenny is doing and now the work that i'm doing because i'm starting to speak more about it just like it's you know the color blue on the wall is as, as, as i can see the color blue that's how alive and real the spirit world is to me and my intuition um it's it's really it's amazing to live from the space because every day it's it's something new you know, and it's it's not all sunshine and roses, right? It's it's still this. You earth had some and we still, You had some. Detox, well, you had some detox symptoms as well, didn't you? But that's yes. just. You know, it's like shedding the skin. You know, you've got to just. It happens. 
Yes, it does. Uh, the the tummy, I had some tummy problems, but they're all gone now. But when when you and and I'm a when I make up my mind to do something, I'm kind of go all in kind of gal. You know, I don't I don't really hold back. So of course I'm going to have more more symptoms because I'm diving. You know, really deep. Jenny's taking me very deep. Um, and and my soul wants to go fast, and it, mm. it's ready. It's 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 been ready to come out. I was just blocking it. Yeah, exactly. Before. No, I think it's really important. I just want to mention this as well, because obviously um, we now have, I think it's eight people in total. I have to look at the numbers. Eight people is now in the business program. We start Monday. So if you are thinking about joining and you haven't joined yet, I just wanted to say that the multidimensional channeling course is a part of the program. So although, Monique, you've done it, but you can just jump on in again, because I think every time we do something, we upgrade the next level anyway and just just new pieces will come through etc so there's always opportunities to keep going but for those people who have not had that uh opportunity yet that's going to be that is a part of the program so if you're looking to open your channel and surrender to spirit you will be able to do that <laughs> absolutely and, and one thing i want to add about your work jenny you are very your work is very um professional and very polished and and I can tell that you really put a lot into into delivery to your clients um, because everything that you've given to me, I always print out and I bind it and it, it looks beautiful. It reads beautiful. So I, I just want to add that Jenny has an extra um, a different level of professionalism. She's used to working with with um, corporate women and and um, you know higher up women and and she gives first class service and her her delivery is amazing oh thank you thank you yeah yes i'm this perpetuate like professionalism like <laughs> have to oh, get yes. it right. it's just one of those things so here's my book <laughs> oh wow okay good, I good. Everything out. oh wow that's really good yeah so i yeah i feel and look this is another thing ladies so if you're watching this and you're thinking yeah i want to go in the program with jenny i want to do this so I'm not going to make you do what I do exactly, but I will always take you to the highest level in the sense like I want you to produce at a high level. It needs to look good. You know, it needs to draw the right people in. We can't be messy. You know, these things are important, right? That even with the professional, um, how you look on the outside, not just personally how you look, but like your, your, your branding, how you write things, you know. Are you making lots of spelling mistakes? Things like this. Okay, we can all make the spelling mistakes, but but I'm just saying I'm quite like, look, you've got to make it professional because if you had a business and you were going to 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 make a proposal to a multi-million dollar company to do something for them, you need to turn up and be the part, right? Yes. And I want all my students to be this way and to step up the game. And I'm not saying we all have to be you know, hyper polished straight away. I'm just saying the aim is really to step up the game in this way. Why not? Because we're going to take and be taken very seriously. And especially, especially if we're bringing more of higher consciousness in to like more of the 3D world, but that the, the, the 3D world is waking up. They want things to look good. Like it's got to be professional. And that's where we need to be this, that so we can be met because first impression, right? So, <laughs> so yeah, so I'm very, uh, like I'm very hot on this. I think it's really important. Absolutely. And another thing too, I, I, I wanna talk about the soul contract because mm -hmm. I feel like that's one tool that you have that has been just amazing for me because it's, it's like I can look at this, this blueprint and I can see the challenges that I've had in my life. And then I see the talents that I've been given. And, and I would highly recommend any of you ladies who are watching or, or gentlemen, please get a soul contract reading. It, it will be so eye opening and mind blowing for you because you will look at this and go, oh, my gosh, my life makes sense. Yeah. It, it, it really unlocks so much for me, Jenny. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad to hear because we haven't discussed in deeply the feedback just yet because next session we were doing light body or something. I can't remember now, but, mm -hmm. order. but actually we haven't really had a lot of feedback on that. But yeah, I, I, I feel the, the feedback that you're get, giving is what a lot of people give that feedback because 
it was the same for me. I had my soul contract reading in 2000 and I think it was like eight or nine or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it was like it hit me in the face. I was like, oh my God, really? And then after that, everything else evolved and unlocked. But it was a, a very unlocking um, process for me as well. Yeah, and it's, it's and, and it's it's funny. I actually brought it up in my business meeting yesterday. We're going to normalize this energy work. I already feel it. This this yeah. work is is going to just. I, I believe it's a new paradigm. It's a big paradigm shift in yeah. the way that people are doing business. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I shared with, with the team yesterday, I said, we're not sure of the name of the new business yet. Um, and, and here's the reason why. And I told them about the soul contract. They're like, oh my gosh, that's mind blowing. Tell me more. I was like, okay. <laughs> so yeah, exactly. so I'll be working with you on, on the name of the, the business, the energy business. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is so, so it's like, as soon as we open up to more of the intelligence or the divine intelligence that is available, we can actually tap into a, a new ways of doing things that we have not been taught yet. We don't know yet. This is another thing. The divine is actually here to teach us a lot of things that we have not even opened up to yet, which is where we stay curious. We have to have an open mind and we have to have an open body so we can receive this is another thing because we can always go in. Oh, well, I've seen that. I know that before. And, you know, I, I, I know all about that. But actually, we don't know everything. Mm -mm. So this is the thing which is so, so magical. So, yeah, I mean, maybe you want to share before we finish. Maybe you want to share a little bit about because you have had a lot of channelings, haven't you? A lot of, lot of things have come through oh, that didn't. Yes. Oh, so I don't know so <laughs> one second. <laughs> Very noisy. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so tell me more about that. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, my goodness. I had so many things through. Okay. So, um, with, so I channeled the name of my business, which is Becoming Whole. Um, and, and really, it's, it's multi layered. It is, it is becoming whole with, with yourself. And then also bring in the, the spiritual part um, of who we are as well. Um, so it's it's multi-layered with that. And then also on the physical, um, wholeness means balance in life. So the name of, of my business was channeled to me. And then other healing modalities. So um, I told you guys earlier that I am a Reiki master. So I started with that. And the information that I was given, I was told, you, you know how to do this. You've, you've done this before and, and Reiki, Reiki's not strong enough for you. And I was sitting in meditation and what came to me was energetic embody, embodiment release technique. And it is a completely different modality. It is pushing emotional energy out of the body and identifying that energy through color and I work with the client and we identify it together and we focus our energy together on clearing that emotional um, congestion, as I like to call it, in the body. Mm -hmm. um, and and I've, I've worked with three clients so far and they're, they're blown away by it. And this is something, I mean, guys, I'm telling you, if somebody would have told me this two, two years ago that, that I'm going to be doing energy work and pushing emotion out of someone's body, I'd have been like, um whatever <laughs> yeah never... exactly yeah but it just came through and it was crystal clear and you just went yeah okay let's just and i wrote it down and i actually yeah. trademarked it because you know i'm this business chick so i got a trademark yeah. on it yeah <laughs> good no this is this is this is the amazing thing and this is how i love working i, I love working with all women from all walks of life but i think it's really wonderful how coming from you know, this high achieving environment and then understanding that environment, then can you imagine taking the energetics into that environment slowly? Yes. <laughs> it's gonna change I don't, I don't want to blow anyone away. Sorry. <laughs> no, but it's going to, it's going to, it's going to look, you know, gradually, this is how we're going to change the world. 
It is, and and I really feel um, I've had this conversation with Jenny. One of my missions, um, and I have many, and and it's all to do with with paradigm shifting as we move into this new age of Aquarius, and the divine feminine is rising. So we're moving from our left brain to our right brain, which means that it's more feminine flow. So collaboration. Um, you know, consensus management, it, it's not going to be the top down patriarchal structures that we've had mm -hmm. in the corporate world for, geez, what, past 150, forever. I guess forever. forever, really. Yeah, forever, really. So, so we're changing. So the women, the way that we do business, um, we want everyone to win. We don't, we don't want to take, we want to give and we want to receive and we want everyone to be made whole. And yeah. I really think that that's going to change the face of business on a global scale as we move exactly. more into this feminine, yes, yes. this feminine yeah. model. Yeah. And, 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 and it won't all just, I'm no, sorry. No, 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 there you go. I was going to say, and it's not all going to be, you know, just feminine flow. Of course, we're going to have the, the left brain structured. It's going to be a more masculine approach, I feel. Jenny, do you think that too? Yes, I feel that... Um, the you know the the old uh, sort of broken masculine way of doing it is competition, aggression, greed, uh, take what you can, push people to the side. Uh, it's all me, 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 me. Uh, in it for yourself, and that is it. That's like the old way. Now and 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 that comes with planning, structure, and goal setting, and uh you know closing the sales and like it's sort of like you know it is masculine in that way and then making the profit have all the money so that's it but i feel with uh come, going forward with business you'll still you'll still need a, a profitable business it's not yes. about it's not about giving everything for free and then and, and it's going to work because it doesn't it has to have this stability and however the money is looking whether it's cryptocurrency or whether it's dollars i don't know it doesn't really matter the, 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 mm -hmm. the, there has to be some sort of exchange there has to be some sort of um mm -hmm. foundation there that works the energetics of exchange so whatever that's going to look like we don't know but that's to see as well but the energetics behind is all about collective so how can a corporate company that is for example uh, I don't even know, but let's not even go into too much of politic like details. But you know, how can a corporate company serving? How can they serve the whole? How can even the employees of that company be a part of the affiliate or something like this? I don't know. Will there be a share for those people really working there? Will things change? I think there will be companies like that already, maybe. Um, but and also the the aim of the of the corporate or the the high business, you know, sort of the aim would probably be more to help and always share, uh, like, you know, give 10% or give 20% mm -hmm. to somewhere else where their course is, where their heart is. Mm -hmm. So profit will go to, I don't know, like a wild animal camp somewhere. Like, I don't know, mm -hmm. just wherever the CEO of that company where and, and the people that work with him have their heart will be something maybe where they give so that will be an individual choice so for example i i'm small at the moment in the terms of this way but i give where i can give like if i can give a course or if i can if i can give something so that i can give basically in, in within reason so that i can keep growing um so it's the giving as well so this is where we have to also shift i think with the energetics so we don't give for just to give. We give when we can give. And with that was always going to, but we also got to look after the business as an energetic entity because it has a greater, bigger plan. Yes. Always. And yes. that's what we're going to bring into the corporate. It has a greater plan than the plan for just the CAO. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it, it's every everyone in the way that I see it, everyone in the corporation is going to have a, a valid role. They're all going to be a, a, a piece of it. And everyone um, will will have value. And, and I think there will be more distribution of profits. And I feel that that people will be put over profits. You know, the um, 
the the health of people, the mental yes. health of people. And and I feel that from a coaching perspective, if I were in the corporate world before I left, I was already like coaching the whole person, sure. you know, talking about, you know, what are what do you feel that your strengths are? What are your weaknesses? And I always said family first and I didn't really care who heard me because the last few years I, I started becoming more me and I'm like family first, you do what you need to do as long as your work's done. You know, I think that that approach and, and making sure that that people are healthy on all levels will become a lot more standard than just yeah. bottom line profits. Yeah, exactly. I really feel and like that, that they know that the calibration of that employee, if they are well and balanced in their life, they will perform better. Absolutely. And and having flexibility as well. And, and I know that we've we've seen a lot of that with people working from home, especially in the technology. Yes. And then with COVID. And, and yeah. I, I really feel as bad as we can say that the lockdown's been, I think there's been some wonderful things that have come out of out of the lockdown. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. So, yeah. Oh, thank you so much for having, you know, coming here and sharing. And thank you all of you for watching. Did you want to add anything else? Um, you know what? I, I would say if you ladies are, are on the fence right now and, and feeling fear in your body and trying to make a decision on whether or not to to join the Connected Soul Club or uh, join the um, the 12 month mentoring with Jenny, I would say feel into it and now is the time for you to focus on yourself and bring your soul business forward because the energy is just it's the right time now um and believe in yourself and jenny is definitely the person that will help bring your idea to life and help you unlock what you need within yourself to move forward in your soul business and as a leader thank you thank you it is true. <laughs> it is true. I know. And I, I, I and I'm, I'm not like, <laughs> yeah. and I, I don't I don't say things unless I mean them, you know, I, and, and I truly mean it. And I, I, I talked about you in my meeting is after, after the soul contract uh, discussion. Yeah. I was like, yeah, Jenny Lyon, my, my light mentor, light mentor. I said, yeah, she's badass. <laughs> yeah. I did. Yeah. So, so that we're gonna do a lot of that. So yeah, we're just trusting that we get given the pieces and that we keep mm -hmm. going. So whatever it is I, I keep saying this because this is also the part of the age of Aquarius. It's very much about individual power, individual uh expansion, individual um creativity, individual it's all but uh, to help the collective. So it's yes. almost like you 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 really need to be yourself. You really need to activate all of your amazing gifts and powers and trust your life path. We're coming out from a box into complete, you know, limitless opportunity expansion mm -hmm. reality, as opposed to, so it's going to, you know, it takes a little bit of time, break it down and, you know, to create this new, new thing. But that is really what it's all about. And then we, we help, um, we, we lead from the heart space and service and the rest will follow. Yes, absolutely. And there's yeah. no mistake that I'm that I'm an Aquarius with an with a with an Aquarius <laughs> North Node. <laughs> Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Yes, Age of Aquarius is here. Okay, thank you very much, and thank you guys for watching. I am going to go live in about an hour. I'm going to do the the well, not the last bonus class ever, but the last bonus class of this free event, which is called Queendom Intelligence. And I will talk to you more about what that is in about an hour. Um, that's all about the feminine and the masculine, and how we can lock that in and use it not just to our advantage, but use it so that the divine flow can come through us with ease and, you know, use it for, for the greater, for the greater good of our divine plan. Um, and, and let go of the fear. That's it. Thank you. So I'll see you all later. And thank you so much, Monique, for coming on. I loved thank having you. you. Bye ladies. Have a good weekend, everybody. If you need to join my program, Click the link below <laughs> or, or send me a message. Okay, guys. See you soon. Bye.